Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. This is Nerdlingen 1634. I'm commanding the Swedish army assaulting the what? Catholic Spanish? Uh, it's a Catholic army. I think it has a strong Spanish element in it, if I recall correctly. Uh, so yeah, there may have or be other ways to approach the task than seizing the hill. We'll see about that. So special victory conditions. We will win the scenario if you have inflicted 35% losses. And we can win by routing 40% and only 19% more than we have lost. Basically, our work is cut out for us. So, we can either try to break the Spanish army in battle, or seize the Albuk. This is the objective flag we need to hold. It's a fortified position surrounded by a difficult slope. Now, although I could, I suppose, try to get creative with my approach, I was probably just going to be an idiot and go for the objective because, I don't know, that's what they really did, and uh, that just seems more interesting. Um, so we have veteran horse. What have we got here? Lots of cavalry hanging out here. It's going to be annoying when this light horse starts buzzing around. We'll want to get infantry support over onto that wing. This rough ground is pretty unhelpful. Not our salvo foot operating in the open, ideally. Okay, now the question is, where do we send this infantry? Where do we send this cavalry? I suppose these will peel off to the left. And let's send a couple of units off to the left. But overall, we are going to be hurling our foot forward to seize that hill. Might not be the wisest approach, but it is clearly the most glorious approach. Uh, that being said, we will at least wait until support arrives before just throwing everyone in. Cavalry here, we have foot veterans, arquebusiers. Hmm. What I'll probably do is make lanes in the cavalry uh, so that the infantry can march through. Archipusiris, we can send to the left to help fight the Hussars. Heavy guns, pound away. They pass our cohesion check, no surprise there. Sauce forces, that hill looks bloody hard for you to take, so I just need to watch my casualty level. Yeah, we're going to go for the hill, though. Um, like I said, probably not the optimal approach, but it's the historic approach, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, superior and even elite tercios. Here come those hussars to make my life hell. All right, keep pushing that infantry support over.
and what? To keep the cavalry? We'll probably want some cav in reserve here in case shenanigans ensue. Next turn. I have to hold the flag for five turns. Uh. Well, if we do assault a hill, it's going to be this, because why assault a difficult slope if we really don't have to? We could start trying to cannonade the cavalry, it's more likely to cause cohesion drop. Open another lane. Here we go. Do we need to do more yet? I don't think so. Next turn. Those dragoons are probably going to be pretty useful. Now, I don't know if this scenario has a time limit. Getting cannonaded is unfortunate, but I think taking the time to prep is worth it. We want to clear the way with our piking shot with light guns, and after they get slaughtered and repulsed, send in the salvo foot for the second wave against the uh, theoretically weakened enemy army. Okay. Hmm, I like that. 
we swivel these guns around to target the heavy cavalry. Next turn. All right, well, why don't we uh, send our greetings? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. He'll just pull them out of range, but it is amusing. Okay. Good. We can push our veteran horse forward a little bit. They don't really need to move. No. <laughs> God is Swedish. That is exactly correct, yes. Nothing serious, of course, I can't really catch them. Okay, do I bother with anything else? No, I don't see why I should. Some forests that I've never really taken to this battle, I very much prefer Lutzen. Uh, I also really enjoy the Lutzen scenario, but I've played it 
quite a few times recently. Looks like it's definitely much more straightforward, let's slam into each other kind of affair. This is a bit more asymmetric. Oh, let's go for the break. Or not. Pretty similar amount of infantry there, unfortunately. Okay, now these are turning around. What does that mean? Not really sure. That should be good. Next turn. Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, they're done for. They charge, maybe we'll be able to counter charge at least. Negative. Well, here we go. It's not exactly pretty, but four units to, what, seven? 
eat. Might be able to make some inroads. Okay, we'll keep this reserve of seven units, just kind of hang it out in back, undecided on what they're going to do. go. Next turn. I guess shooting is a safe path. you back. Getting my cavalry a bit exposed here, but I really want to kill these. <sighs> Damn. What a shame. We took out two of them, I guess that's fine. Uh, you cycle out, place them. No morale checks. Okay. Next turn.
Oh no. Uh, do not want. I need to attempt to push here just because there's no guarantee that this is going to go remotely well. It's a start. We need to try to break these guns in such a way that we can push into the fortifications and fight from there to make a breach, basically. I wonder what reaction I would get to sending these four units into action as well. They would have to come down, right? Wouldn't that be a good thing? I mean, if I'm being an idiot, I might as well go all in with it. Hmm, tempting. But not as valuable. Try to shield them like so. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing it. Next turn. I'm curious to see if I can pull this off or if it's going to uh, ooh, go historically, which is kind of how it's looking so far, given the whole everyone on the hill getting disrupted one at a time situation. Yeah, that's unpleasant too. 
frag. can pretty much ignore those dragoons. In fact, I think we have to pretty much ignore those dragoons. Interesting. Okay, well, forward. Good. Uh, you withdraw. And... All right, forward. Good, got a frag. Forward. Now we're in close range, which is just horrific. And can we hit these dragoons? Yes, we can. You occupy that rough ground for extra stability against the crosshairs and what veteran horse can start following behind and I might even start pushing horse onto the hill in an attempt to get behind and cause some chaos so yeah I shift these two units over uh, you Work around that frag unit. There's still four units there to my four units, unfortunately. But how are we feeling here? One, two, three, four, five, six infantry units to my about the same. Damn. Could use some disruptions to the front there. Our infantry is mostly better ish? Not really. Oh well, we're committed now. Let's advance just out of musket shot. And hopefully these guys will rally up shortly. And our veterans can push forward. The arquebusiers can shift back over. They're going to be more useful fighting infantry. So with that in mind, horse forward, you as well, prepare to follow up. Uh, just not open, okay, not a big deal. There we go, and yeah, that's the overall situation. <laughs> See how this goes. Next turn. And those cohesion checks. Uh, 
Oh, they're coming down, so we'll have to shift over to meet them. Ooh. Most unpleasant. I don't know if we're close enough to make it in there. Good. Okay, are we? No. Damn, it was all for nothing then. Hmm. I didn't realize that these were such massive units. 800 man units of veteran pike and shot. Interesting. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. No cohesion failure. Fall back a bit so you can spread out, and you will eventually be using your firepower against the infantry. Okay, what else can we even do? Time to start absorbing bullets with the horse. Lovely job. Next turn. One thing to keep in mind that I definitely have not been keeping in mind is that I really only have to inflict 35% to win. So maybe as Awesome 4 suggested at the start, the best approach would be to not even try to take the hill. But I kind of want to try the historical approach. 
and this is not, you know, a tournament or anything like that, so we're gonna go with it. What I really need is to find some way to auto break that unit and push in, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Nicely done. Hmm. Might have to intervene with horse to, uh, oh, no, too late. I think we might be uh, replicating the historical result here. That, that might be what we're doing. Got some breaks on our side. That. Well, we might be able to work with that. Let's see, yeah, let's set up a flank. And, uh, let's pour in some musketry and absorb some bullets. Yeah, delightful. Okay, can we get an auto break here? Difficult, but theoretically possible, I think. To drop it down to 50 men. I guess it wouldn't matter because already facing me, so if I break this, it breaks the zone of control. Down. It's a uh, turn. The left. Give him a shove, just cause some chaos. Doesn't matter if we get anything out of it. Go and last chance. Not much of a chance. Nope. Then we'll have to uh, trust to impact. Reserves, I suppose.
Okay. Next turn. Oh no, that's not ideal. Fell back and held firm. Oh no. Nice. Ah, we can't take advantage. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Well, we can only hope that when they break, they go in a direction that is convenient. In the meantime, fail. Again. Oh, super fail. Okay, so absorb, round of fire, and then get in there for the charge. Okay, then maybe we can do that. <sighs> Keep forming up and can start trying to push into range of the salvo charge. Average horse is not going to do too well. The veterans should do all right. So we'll try to spread out a little bit. Good.
don't really know what I'm doing there. Just trying to spread out the fire and maybe try to get in these gaps if I can. It's unlikely to work out. But options are limited at this point. Excellent. Double disruption. So the one decision left is that unit. Ugh. Kind of want to withdraw, but it's really far too late for that. I can salvage a few units, maybe. Next turn. Well, we got one of them. Bounce for us. Let's be held firm. Zone of control lock on the salvo foot would be extremely unfortunate. That's exactly what's happening. Oh, we're dead there too. The 
gap is growing. We're now down just about 10%. Well, we might as well, as they are severely disordered, keep firing. Um, keep withdrawing. That was a, uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Try. Okay, here we go. We charge here, then we charge here, and hopefully, we stay locked into melee. Better than that. Set up a flank, hopefully. Um, hmm. No frag. Oh. What about with an extra no out of line of sight? Okay, the retin, some flanks to force them in, to move in. Ah, with that, fire, keep firing, you're dead. Hmm, could try to go for a check here. I don't think it's enough though, might be a waste. Come on. Damn. Okay, well we'll just go for it anyway. Where can you go? Nowhere. Lock them in. Fire. All getting extremely awkward. Fragged. Good. Close range. Fire again. No dice. Turn these guns. Ah, crosshairs on route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock them in. And what? Threat a charge. Go for a break. Let's go. See where that takes us. Hopefully away from danger. Well, that's one way to do it. Uh, come on. Mm, hopefully we rush out of there off map. And here we can prevent these crosshairs from threatening our veteran horse with a flank. That's something you cut these off and 
prepare to pile on. You're dead. Might as well take some fire. Um, withdraw. Okay. Um, still awful. But at least we're going to do a bit of damage now. Next turn. Yeah, that's not the most pleasant. Break, hopefully, yes. Okay. Uh huh, of course. Now we're just going to get flight charged ourselves. A fragment, though. Ooh. I did not see that. Problems. Lots of problems. Oh, very nice, not that it's going to amount to anything. Well, that was absolutely horrendous. Um, sure, face off there.
they're dead anyway. I don't think they can successfully fall back. I suppose if we charge, we can't get a shot at. If we're disrupted, we can't get charged by steady troops on this ground. Get that flank in. And break them? No. To impact. Nope. Hmm. Nowhere to go with this unit. Straw fire then. Salvo charge, disruption. Oh, we got to do it once. Too bad we can't follow up on that. Can we do anything? Maybe. We move. Here, we might be able to do something. These 800 man units of pike and shot are really tough. They just have ridiculous amounts of firepower compared to your. Standard sized unit. Your pylon. Just hoping for a disruption there. Dice. <sighs> That's pretty much everyone. Next turn. A break. But then we're gonna get flanked no matter which way we charge. So not really the greatest thing. Ah, damn, that un unlocks that unit so it can avoid getting flanked.
Basically, it's another three percent this turn with no gain on our end. Nine more casualties to break that light gun. Okay. Well, let's try to break that unit. Some cannon fire and a volley. Hmm. Can't avoid getting flanked here. That's a shame. Well, fire. Mm. Again, 800 man units of pike and shot. I really don't know what to do about that. Go. Right. Well, they're disrupted, so get in. Continue that turn. Could try to get behind here, but what's the point? It's not going to accomplish anything. Go for a break. What happens? Oh, that was not, not the thing that we wanted. Excellent. Okay, well, um, let's we see someone off here. Uh, Withdraw. Oh god. Next turn.
Oh yeah, the bad thing. Forgot about that. Oh, really? All you had to do is hold firm for one turn. There's that flank we were talking about. And the bad thing. I mean, at this point, it's perhaps a little bit foolish to talk about any singular bad thing. This frag unit holds out. <sighs> Not even to take out this artillery unit, we're gonna get flanked first. Well, don't believe we'll achieve technical victory conditions either. Um, run away. Withdraw. Ah. matter they're disordered anyway. There we go. We were already disrupted so it didn't really do any good, but it's something. This is not a flank, it's a little tercio, but we're gonna do it anyway. So the frag. Do it! Oh. It's hoping for them to fail their check, but instead we'll get rear charged. Ah, I cannot. These huge units, this is just so hard to deal with. Because they have massive firepower. Just like, well, better than a standard pike and shot unit. Um, sure, add to that, I pass the check, gonna rush to the other side, I think we still die slower getting shot at, 
Next turn. Well, we've inflicted 24. Can we do another 10%? I think it's conceivable. Certainly not guaranteed. That's a bitter pill. So it's that, for that matter. Uh, how much will that help me? Damn. Ooh. Whole wing is evaporating at this point. Ooh, I don't know about inflicting 35 at this rate. Now it's done. It's done. Auto break, I assume. Yep. Well, um, <laughs> I could try to slog up this hill again, but unfortunately he just turned right around. Amusingly, my fleeing salvo foot have taken this, but again, uh, that's not going to last. So instead, I think I need to stay out 
stay in the rough, I guess, where we'll die slowly. Here we can, what, move here, then turn? I think that's going to have to be what we do. Okay, fire back. Are they close to dead? They're probably close enough to dead that we can do that. I was hoping for an auto break. Negative. Hmm. Did that so would route away from this unit at least. Uh, you're done now. There's the left. Oh, should have shot at them with the cannons, to be honest. Yeah, break there could have helped a little bit. I mean, probably not that much. Next turn. Yeah, no really good matchup set up at this point, so I don't think we can grab the 8% at this point. Yeah, that was our last good one, and that only takes us to 27. Awesome for noted is concerned that you know, he said he noticed this routing troop grabbing the objective and said just be wrong if that won the game. It would, but the thing is I have to hold it for five turns, which is you know includes his turn, so that's ten turns. And uh that's clearly not going to happen. And the Salvo foot are vulnerable to flank attacks, unlike the Tercio, so this thing is going to be useless because it's going to get surrounded before it can do anything. If we get another turn, for that matter. Which we looks like we will. I'm not sure how the custom wing conditions work for this scenario. Now you come back. Damn, these archivists here withstood all impacts. 
was really hoping for more from the cavalry fight when I got some good breaks in. Well, what, if anything, can we do? I suppose we can at least get that frag and fire back while they're disordered. And out of a lack of anything better to do, unless, can we kill 10 men? Nope. Cool, just wasted a move. Uh... Here. Fire. Now, do you want to fire here and possibly break them, or charge here? Let's do the salvo charge. It did not do anything. Okay. Move yet, you're trapped. Withdraw to the cover of the guns. Can we do anything here? Not really. Well, okay. I imagine this should be the last turn. Okay, and we have reached the end, it seems. Basically, we uh, took the historical approach and found that, uh, you know, it didn't work the first time, and it didn't work this time either. Uh, but an enjoyable game, nonetheless, I think, uh, if I'd been playing to win, and, uh, you know, knew that this is how this would turn out, then... I would have simply avoided this, shifted everyone over here, and tried to fight in the open. Now, I don't know if that would have necessarily gone any better given the crossers and especially the 900 man units of pike and shot, that's scary as hell, but it certainly would have given me a better chance in my attempt to assault the hill that went, you know, predictably. There we go. Well done to Awesome 4. I did not manage to achieve even a technical victory of 35%. Sounds like we playing another match soon. So good game, as always, and till next time.